All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So since we're in the beginning of 2022 right now, in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick preview of all of the upcoming summonable units that we can expect to see over the next four to six months or so. And all these units will be presented in the order that they came out on JP, but obviously that could change when it comes to global. And we're not going to spend too much time on any particular unit or do too much analysis or anything like that because that would just take way too long. But hopefully watching this video will help you guys decide how you want to budget your Dragonstones for the next couple of months. So with that said, let's jump right into it. And the first unit we're going to start with is one that should have already been released on Global at this point, and that is the Fizz LR Super Janemba. So on JP, he actually came out after the Tech LR Gogeta, which makes a lot of sense. But for some reason, Global still hasn't gotten him yet. And uh, I'm assuming he's next, but it's kind of hard to say, right? So uh, anyways, before we get into the details, I just want you guys to take a second to take in how insanely awesome this LR effect is on the Janemba. I mean, it is arguably the best card art in the entire game. Actually, you know what? I think there's no debate, man. Like, just based on the effect alone, it's gotta be the best card art in the entire game. That's just my opinion. Anyways, uh, starting with the leader skill, it is Corroded Body and Mind or Movie Bosses Category K plus 4. HP attack and defense plus 150%, super attack, 12 key super, colossal damage, and lowers defense, and then 18 key super, mega colossal damage, and greatly lowers defense. Passive is attack and defense plus 120%, guards all attacks as the first or second attacker in a turn, plus an additional key plus 2, up to 6, and attack and defense plus 22%, up to 66%, with each attack performed as the second or third attacker in a turn. High chance of nullifying key blast super attacks directed at the character from the enemy. His active skill is a rage mode and be activated when HP is 66% or more starting from the 6th turn from start of battle once only. And his links are big bad bosses, shocking speed, metamorphosis, brutal beatdown, fear and faith, fierce battle, and legendary power. And categories are movie bosses, transformation boost, exploding rage, created body and mind, and accelerated battle. And here's a quick look at the uh, rage mode as well, which also looks really, really dope. And uh, let's see here. So for the rage mode, 12 key super causes destructive damage with a high chance of performing a critical hit. And then the 18 key super causes destructive damage with a high chance of uh, performing a critical hit. And the passive is receives an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained and obviously you are immortal while you're in this mode because it doesn't take any damage and I believe it only lasts for one turn. Yes, as you can see it says in rage mode he takes no damage and lasts one turn. So that is the Fizz LR Super Janemba and uh, taking a look at his banner here it is a standard legendary summon banner so basically it's not very good and it features the new LR Janemba along with the Tech and Int Pycons, the uh, Tech and Fizz Super Saiyan Kid Trunks, the AGL and Int Super Saiyan Kid Goten, the Tech Kid Goten, the STR Saiyan Man, Int Videl, who's about to get an Extreme Z Awakening, uh, Int Hercule, and also the AGL Final Form Frieza. So like I said, not the greatest banner, and as far as Janemba goes, he's quite good, but there are better units coming up after him. So whether you should be summoning on this banner or not is up to you, but I feel like for most people, this is probably, or at least should be, a skip. Now, before we move on to the next unit, let's watch his animations. So here we go. Let me just full screen this and enjoy.
Alright, so there is your preview for the upcoming Fizz LR Super Janemba. Now let's move on to the Dokkan Fest AGL Transforming Trunks. His leader skill is Entrusted Will or Android slash Cell Saga. D plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. Passive is attack and defense plus 100%, attack and defense plus 100% when attacking. Great chance to launch up to two additional attacks. Launch an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack each time the character performs three or more attacks during battle. His active skill is a transformation into Super Saiyan. Uh, transform into Super Saiyan stuns and seals the targeted enemy super attack for one turn, and it can be activated after attacking six or more times in battle, once only. His links are Messenger from the Future, Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, the Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Android slash Cell Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, Saviors, Battle of Wits, Super Saiyans, Transformation Boost, and Entrusted Will. Now let's take a look at the Super Saiyan Trunks. So after the transformation, his super attack becomes greatly, raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes immense damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 100% and great chance to perform a critical hit, attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack, and performs a critical hit once only, plus an additional attack plus 50% when the target enemy is in attack down status or in defense down status, Plus an additional attack plus 50% when the target enemy is stunned or the target enemy super attack is sealed. High chance to stun the attacked enemy for 2 turns when all allies attacking at the same turn are android slash cell saga category characters. His links are messenger from the future, cold judgment, royal lineage, the Saiyan lineage, super Saiyan, shocking speed, and fierce battle. And on top of that we do have a side unit on this banner which is the uh, Fizz Super Saiyan Heart Virus Goku, whose leader skill is Turtle School Category Key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack greatly raises attack, causes immense damage with a high chance of sacrificing 7% HP, and passive is attack and defense plus 100%, raises attack and defense by up to 200%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost, Key plus 5, chance to perform a critical hit plus 59%, reduces damage received by 59%, and 59% chance of launching an additional super attack for 5 turns from start of turn, plus an additional defense plus 59%, and reduces damage received by 59% when HP is 59% or less starting from the 6th turn. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for Battle, Experienced Fighters, Super Saiyan, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle, and categories are Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Super Saiyans, Android slash Cell Saga, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, and Accelerated Battle. So there you go, that is the Fizz Heart Virus Goku, and also the Dokkan Fest Transforming Super Saiyan Trunks. Now let's uh, take a look at their banner, and we have the two new units, the Trunks and Goku featured, as well as the AGL Kid Gohan, the Fizz Super Saiyan Kid Trunks and Goten, uh, the Tech Transforming Trunks, the AGL Transforming Zamasu, and the Int uh, Goku Black. Overall, not the best Dokkan Fest banner I've seen. Um, actually, probably one of the worst we've seen in recent memory, but uh, it's not terrible. It just could be a lot better. And lastly, let's uh, check out their animations. So once again, let me just full screen this. And here we go.
初めから全力でかかってくるんだなスーパーサイヤ人は孫悟空さん一人じゃないここにもいたということだはあそ、ネクストアップ、We have a unit that I am personally very excited for, and that would be the Dokkan Fest Tech Future Android 17 and Future Android 18, along with the side unit on their banner, which is the Int Dr. j e r o in Android 19. So, starting with the、uh, 17 and 18 first, leader skill is Worldwide Turmoil or Future Saga, category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage to enemy, and seals super attack. And passive is attack plus 170%, defense plus 180%. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, tech excluded, to tech key spheres plus an additional attack and defense plus 35% per tech key sphere obtained, or plus an additional. Attack plus 18% and defense plus 17% per non tech key sphere obtained. Plus an additional attack plus 70% with 7 or more key spheres obtained. Plus an additional defense plus 80% with 8 or more key spheres obtained. E plus 1 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained. Launches an additional super attack when HP is 35% or less. And nullifies key blast super attacks directed at the character from the enemy when HP is 35% or more. Active skill is Hellish Game delays a single targeted enemy's attack for one turn, and it can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 35% or more, or can be activated upon entering attacking turn when facing three or more enemies once only. Their links. Our organic upgrade, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Future Saga, Androids, Joint Forces, Siblings Bond, Android Slash Cell Saga, and Worldwide Turmoil. Now, let's jump over to the Int Android、uh, 19 and 20, or Jero in 19.、Uh, leader skill is Androids, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and recovers 10% HP. Passive is attack plus 200% and defense plus 190%. Attack and defense plus 39% and disables enemy's guard when performing a super attack. Android category allies key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%, or seize enemy super attacks when HP is 39% or less. Absorbs key blast super attacks directed at the character from the enemy and recovers 39% of the absorbed damage as HP. Links are Android Assault, Energy Absorption, RR Army,、uh, Nightmare, Brutal Beatdown, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Androids, Joint Forces, Android Slash Cell Saga, Target Goku, and Power Absorption. So that is the 19 and 20 slash 17 and 18. Now, as far as their banner goes, it was quite good. It was quite good. We got the 17 and 18, the Jero and 19, and a big highlight here, of course, is the STR Super Vegeta, who is the newest unit on Global right now. And when this banner drops on Global, this will most likely be the first time that he returns and will also be available in the Baba Shop for coins. And、uh, we have the Int Broly, the AGL 13, the Int Future Gohan, and also the Fizz Future Gohan, who, by the way, will be getting an Extreme Z Awakening during the celebration. So that is the banner. And lastly, let's check out their animations. Here we go.
もう一気に終わらせちゃうよ17号慌てるなよもっとじっくりやろうぜあっさり全滅させてしまったんじゃ俺たちの楽しみはなくなってしまうんだぞいやいやいやいやいや。Their leader skill is Connected Hope or Bond of Master and Disciple, key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And then 18 key super greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive is attack and defense plus 150%, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, AGL excluded, to AGL key spheres when HP is 58% or more. Plus an additional defense plus 58% chance of performing a critical hit and reduces damage received by 8% with 5 or more key spheres obtained. Plus an additional attack plus 58% chance of performing a critical hit and reduces damage received by 8% with 5 or more AGL key spheres obtained. Launches an additional super attack with 8 or more key spheres obtained. Their active skill is the exchange into future. Uh, Super Saiyan Future Gohan, and it can be activated when HP is 58% or less, starting from the third turn from start of battle. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Infighter, Prepare for Battle, Dismal Future, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Joint Forces, Android Slash Cell Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, All Out Struggle, Connected Hope, and Powerful Comeback. Now, moving on to the Uh, Super Saiyan Future Gohan after the exchange. His 12 key super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage. And then the 18 key super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive is attack plus 258%. Key plus 8 for 5 turns from start of turn. Launches an additional super attack with 8 or more key spheres obtained. For C's enemy super attack when HP is 58% or less. Revives with 85% HP, recovered when the character attacking in the same turn is KO'd once only. E plus 5, defense plus 58%, and reduces damage received by 58% for the rest of the battle after the character revived during battle. And his links are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Cold Judgment, Prepare for Battle, uh, Dismal Future, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Now, taking a look at the banner. Oh, actually, I couldn't find the、uh, banner on the Dokkan Wiki. I don't know if they forgot to include it or I'm just dumb, but I couldn't find it. So, here is the preview on the official Dokkan Twitter page. And as you guys can see, it was a top legendary summon or a double featured LR banner. But I can promise you, the rest of the units on the banner were. Probably not great. So, even though there are two featured LRs, one of them is very old, and the rest of the units are just general,、uh, you know, SSR pool units. So, in terms of value, this banner is still not great to summon on. Better than the Fizz LR Super Janemba banner, but still not one that you would want to spend too many stones on, in my opinion, once again. So,、uh, there's the banner, and lastly, Let's watch these animations, which are absolutely amazing. I think the Gohan has some of my favorite animations in the entire game. I would put him in the top three right now. Like, they're that good. Okay, enough talking. Check it out.
イクス君はここにいるんだいなヒアだもう足手まといにはなりません僕ご飯さんと一緒に戦いたいんですそうか分かったサンクス行くかはいトラムス君は最後の希望だこの肉体は滅んでも俺の意志を継ぐ者が必ず立ち上がりそしてお前たちを倒す What did I say, man? Gohan's animations, the revival skill, the supers after the exchange are just insane. So,、uh, that is the LR Gohan slash Trunks. And now we have two more units, but they're dropping together as part of a dual Dokkan Fest. And that would be the STR Kid Vu and also the、uh, Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Goku that transforms into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So, we're gonna start with the one that I am personally a little bit more excited for. And I know that's gonna be maybe a slightly unpopular opinion, but that's fine. But starting with the Kid Buu. So, his leader skill is Battle of Fate or Majin Buu Saga, category key plus 3, HP and attack plus 170%, and defense plus 130%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance. Of stunning the enemy. His passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 180%, attack and defense plus 30%, with each attack performed up to 120%, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, recovers 20% HP at the end of turn in which attack was received, and great chance of nullifying unarmed super attacks directed at the character from that enemy. His active skill. Is attack and defense plus 20% for the rest of the battle, and it can be activated when there is a Majin Buu Saga category enemy or after receiving six or more attacks in battle once only. His links are Majin, Brutal Beatdown, More Than Meets the Eye, Big Bad Bosses, Infinite Generation, The Wall Standing Tall, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Resurrected Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Forms, Majin Power. Planetary Destruction, Storied Figures, Legendary Existence, Sworn Enemies, Accelerated Battle, Worldwide Turmoil, and Battle of Fate. So that is the STR Kid Buu. His banner looked like this, and it featured the new Kid Buu, Int LR Cell, Fizz LR Blue Boys, the AGL、uh, Pycon, the Tech Transforming Gohan, the Tech Exchange Buu, and also Fizz Beerus. And lastly, let's、uh, watch his animations here. Here we go. Alright, so that is the STR Kid Buu, and last but not least, 
we are going to be going over the details for the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Goku that transforms into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So leader skill is Battle of Fate or Accelerated Battle. Keep plus 3, HP plus 130% and attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 180%, and attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, and high chance to perform a critical hit. His active skill is the transformation into Super Saiyan 3, and it can be activated when HP is 70% or less starting from the third turn from start of battle once only. Links are Super Saiyan Race, or sorry, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Golden Warrior, Experienced Fighters, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Majin Buu Saga, Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyan's Transformation Boost, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan 2, Turtle School, Mastered Evolution, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, and Battle of Fate. And uh, jumping over to the Super Saiyan 3 Goku here, his super attack greatly raises attack and raises defense. For one turn, causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. Passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 200%, attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 50% when attacking, and great chance to perform a critical hit for 6 turns. From start of turn, high chance to perform a critical hit starting from the seventh turn. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, Orbit in a Flash, Limit Breaking Form, and Fierce Battle. Now, I cannot overstate just how ridiculous this Super Saiyan 3 Goku is, guys. I mean, he is just mad broken. He really is. But uh, that's the Goku. Now, let's take a look at his banner, we have the new Fizz Goku, as well as the AGL LR Gohan, the Tech LR Go Bros, the uh, Transforming Tech Janemba, the SDR Transforming Bojack, the Int Transforming Gotenks, and finally, the AGL Transforming uh, Bardock. So, not the best uh, dual Dokkan Fest banner, but definitely not bad, in my opinion. So, uh, there you go. Now, lastly, we gotta watch the animations for the Goku, so enjoy guys. And there you have it, all of the upcoming units on Global that we know of in 2022. Obviously, there are going to be a bunch of other summonable units like the uh, Anniversary Dual Dokkan Fest units, the uh, new Dragon Ball Heroes collab units, um, the Download Celebration slash Worldwide Celebration Dual Dokkan Fest and all that good stuff. But this is what's going to be coming over the next, like I said, four to six months. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which one of these units that we went through in today's video are you the most excited for, and which one are you going to be saving most of your stones for. For me personally, it's definitely between the uh, Tech 17 and 18, as well as the Kid Buu and Goku. I mean, I'd say I want Kid Buu more, but I have a feeling that I'm probably going to end up spending more stones on the Goku banner. I just got to have both. I'm probably going to be spending a lot of stones on that dual Dokkan vest. But before that, I'll be going pretty deep on the androids and uh, probably spending some stones on the 
LR Gohan. But uh, there you go, guys. That is your preview. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Happy 2022 once again. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.